you cannot kill the mind any more than you can kill a ghost. Uh, you can only recognize its own reality or your own reality and choose yourself. Choose to stay with yourself. Because mind cannot live, cannot grow without you. It's a relationship where only you can survive. Uh, who is it that the mind can kill? It cannot kill the self. Who can it threaten? It cannot threaten the self. It can only threaten the idea you have of who you are, which is not the true. This is the game. How will you come out of this game? You see? The game itself is not bad. But it's the false belief, the false identity that brings in all this uh, suffering. This is happening to me, and why must this happen to me? And again, and I can't stop it. Please help me. And I said, Okay, show me you, the one who is the victim of the mind. Show. Sure. You know? But I'm so bound. Oh, show me your chains. Then you must stop. Because many times we are saying things, only we imagine them. But the actuality of it, you cannot prove. So now try and prove. You are saying this thing. Hmm? From the birth of this body until now, we have said I, me, millions of times, every day. Now you are asked, who is this me? Exactly. Just a very simple question. Introduce your me. Go. Is it tangible? Look internally and see. Externally, you cannot find. Because if you point to the body, the body says, I have nothing to do with this, actually. I don't know you. Mm. Okay. So, who are you? You cannot point to the body. It will say, Don't bring me into this. I had nothing to do. I am completely innocent. That's, mm -hmm. that's what I experienced this morning. Yeah. I think I'm just carrying the image. Yes. Like I'm this body, not, yeah. not just the image of something like this, this thing. Yes. In my mind. Yes. It, it has nothing to do yes. with me. The I am the body thought is uh, it. It has its own. It brings its own trouble. But the I am the doer of my actions and the thinker of my thought causes more trouble. I am the doer, I am the one responsible. I am the one who things are happening to. I am, I am this, I am that. It, it brings in a real stench, you see. So, right now, let's prove together. Let's at least look and see what is the correct thing. The body does not say, um, I am you, I am me, I am the Self. It doesn't. You need a mouth to say it, but the mouth is not guilty. You say, I am the body. You see, my mouth said it, my mouth said no. You know, the mouth doesn't say anything. You see? So something internally is saying and claiming, Yes, this is happening to me, and I want you today, in this moment, to find it. Where are these words emanating from? Where do they actually come from? Look. For the first time, perhaps, look. Take any strong thought, any strong belief, I am this, I am that. Hmm? And go and find who is saying that. Just stop, sit quietly somewhere, and look internally. What is saying this? Because it is highly believed, and it is at the very core of hmm, uh, the sense of existence. Me, 
I am doing this. So take a look and see. Who says these things? The feelings we have understood, the feelings are strong. The feelings, they seem okay, the feelings are there. Very strong feeling, like I'm trapped, oh, palpitating, I'm trapped. Okay, the feeling, use the feeling now, sniff the feeling to see who is the one who is feeling it. Who is saying? It may seem an absurd question, because you never ask this kind of question. We just assume, it's me, of course, so who else? Even a judge will not ask you, who exactly are you? <laughs> Even in court, no lawyer will ask, the jury will not ask you. You say, it's me, okay, it's him, you see, he admits it, but who exactly are you? <laughs> look, uh, everybody join in this thing, who, when you say, just look and see if you can actually uh, introduce uh, the victim that lives inside you. Uh, it is me, this thing has been happening to me from I was 13 years old, this happened, and I have the evidence, look, these bruises happened, and okay, who, just identify. It's very important that you try to do this, otherwise you're going to continue in this life with these words in your mind and these words on your tongue. Can you find the sufferer? It must either be the body, or the pure self, or the mind, or a mixture of the mind and the sense of being. It has to be somewhere in one of those places. Either the body is saying, you know, look, I can't take this, it's just too much, it's just too much. Either the body is, we are going to, we caught the body, okay, okay, I got the body, now you can go, I keep the body, he is the one who is in trouble. Or the pure self, complaining, the God in you, I can't do it, I really can't do it, I really can't do it. Either that, which is absurd, also, okay, or the mind, which cannot be just mind. There is no such thing. It is like, uh, the mind is nothing more than uh, the investment of energy and belief. There is no such thing as a mind, as an entity living by itself. Oh, I live here, but my mind is over there in that room. If you want to talk, you go and talk to my mind. When you finish, you come and talk to me. No, there cannot be a mind like that. It has to be an attachment, has to be a connection, a relationship. So it must be combined with something in order to live or to have apparent life. And it is combined with what? The idea you have of who you are. Who are you? Well, the consciousness. Let's get to that step first. There is another step, subtle step, but that come to this place first. Again. Hmm? And this is why when I ask you, can you find it? Something is searching to you. Can this one who is suffering existence, or enjoying existence, or having a future, or having a past, who has memories, who has experience, and all of these things, just see if it can be identified. Is it tangible? Is it male or female? It's just a thought. It is just a thought. Are you sure about it? If you have searched and you find, I cannot find any other explanation, that then, then it is seen here. It is, first, I know it as thought. The thought comes, I can't do this. And then immediately it is believed, and that belief combined and make it appear as though it is something solid. Please check uh, through what I am saying to see if, it, uh, if it, you can confirm. You see? Then I say, but how is it so strong? How is it so strong? Well, because belief, habit, conditioning, habit. And uh, when you say, I say you, if something goes straight to that place. <gasps> Me. Boom, 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 boom. Hmm? 
But there is another place of seeing that is deeper, that is not the person. It is not vulnerable, it is just a seeing. You look, something look at this question being introduced and then you say, it is just a thought. What is recognizing it to be a thought? Again, look. What recognizes, but that's a, uh, that's, that is a thought? Whose thought? Can it be found? This is the most important and beautiful research a human being is going to make. Validate yourself. I can't find the actual me, not, not at the moment. At which moment? And what recognizes this I is only thought or it cannot be found? It cannot be found. What is making this discovery? No imagination. Look clear, sober, looking. No. And experience. Don't create, because sometimes when you cannot find, your mind creates. So don't create. Just look. Hmm? Don't imagine. It is just here. All this inquiry opens up into a space. Is there anything, any object there? Is there any object there? Tell me no. Still, you have the sense, I am here. As what are you here? These questions may seem for a moment to be painful someplace internally because it creates perhaps a sense of discomfort because something does not want to look. Your eyes are turned inward now. What do they land upon? What will they meet? In the light of this question, what has been found? Experience it. Don't give it to your tongue. Something has gone blank. Blank also is seen. Don't stay with that. That which would perceive blank also. You may say, I can't think. The ability to think or not to think is also perceived. Hmm? Who are you? What are you? You came here for this. You came here for this. Maybe you came here thinking for something else. But this is what is offered today. Hmm? Yeah? Maybe some resistance um, may come. It is nothing. Resistance has come before and has gone. Weakness from the same place. Hmm? Speak. I feel it's nothing. Hmm. I feel nothing. But what are you keeping back? What are you keeping back? Why are you holding on to the feeling? Don't hold on to any feeling. Don't identify with any feeling. Let the feeling be there. It is okay. But don't, um, 
Don't create any relationship, don't identify with any feeling. The feeling is only also another phenomenon. Many of you have had uh, uh, somehow this pure experience is there, but uh, you keep a separation. You keep feeling that, yes, I, I know it now, I experience it, you see, and you keep two, and that two will keep dividing out. Once it is clear, because there is no you there like that, hmm? then if I say to you, then uh, be one with this, be absorbed in this, don't say, wow, yeah, now I know. Don't do this, because in a short while it will be, oh, it's gone. Thoughts can follow you right, 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 right up, right, 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 right in. At a certain point they cannot go, beyond which they cannot come, because uh, this, is your, this is your home, your own Self which is there before thought, from where thoughts are perceived. Maybe in your mind, your mind is imagining something else, and you come to a sense of nothing, emptiness, and still the mind is saying, it's still not it. Do you have ears for the mind? It is still not it. So something must let go of everything. And then this duality uh, will also go. Show what you are hiding. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. And then be in I don't know. With joy. or as emptiness. Don't push love away. Let it be there. Let it be your perfume. Imagination you don't need. Leave everything, leave everything now. Even the sense you have of who you have been, who you are, who you want to be, leave everything. So that for the first time you can only be one with that which you cannot be two with. Contemplate that. Okay? Thank you. Very good. This is all taking place in your presence. Don't find yourself.
Thoughts arise from the ocean of the cell. It is all taking place in the presence of you. Even a full flight of the mind. There is an inner stillness. Deeper seeing going on. Be one with this. To stay as a witness. Be one with this. Just be the witness. 